வணக்கம் டெக்கிஸ் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் செஷன் இந்த செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அசூர் டேவாப்ஸ் சிஏசிடி ஃப்ளோ டு டிப்ளாய் பார்ட்ஸ் சர்வீஸ் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்போஸ் டு தி இன்டர்நெட் இன் குபர்னெட்டிஸ் ஸோ ஃபார் வி ஹவ் சீன் ஹவு டு கிரியேட் கிளஸ்டர் இன் அசூர் ஆஸ் ஏ எகேஎஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் இன் ஏடபிள்யூஎஸ் ஆஸ் இகேஎஸ் மேனேஜ்ட் குபர்னெட்டிஸ் ஆல்சோ வி ஹவ் கிரியேட்டட் ஓன் கிளஸ்டர் யூசிங் கியூபேடியம் இன் விர்ச்சுவல் மிஷின்ஸ் as well as how to deploy manually the applications now in this session we are going to see how to deploy application using ca cd manner so this is going to be the very important session uh, which will be used in all the projects uh, every company use follows the ca cd manner either via azure devops or jenkins or some other tools so let's explore okay so at the end of the session we are expecting this web page and this all should be automated by so let's see okay uh, log into dev apps and then create new project so give like this and then give private and then create so once you create you will get first my first project whatever you like so i call it as my first project and then this will be empty and if you go here we have to clone this to our local repository so they're not a local to local to like this one visual studio code so i created a folder like my codes azure cd and then with empty here are we are going to put small code uh, to explore this cd okay so let's go copy this clone page it in it and then git clone okay so my first project go inside my first project ls so nothing is there now so this is that sample file which we created as a index html page so let's copy this and create here index dot html so this is the page which we are going to replace with the default index html page control s page is ready and then we have to create deployment so this is the kubernetes deployment yaml file where the kind is deployment and then your image name is dr kalam ngix so that image is going to be in your local repository so we are exploring like private method so we are not using github so or helm method so this is the basic and then create under this my ci cd deployment dot yaml file okay we'll place it here and then control s save it then we need service file which is we have to mention kind of service so these are all we will get it via kubernetes io and then you can also you can run with the dry run and you can get it yeah the here one more thing is that you have to mention your public ip so you will get it from azure so this also ready my service my ci cd service let's put service my service dot yaml okay so one more file is docker file so you can see the icon also it is getting changed so so i am going to download from nginx docker hub and then i am going to replace this index html 
with the default one index html so that's it so four files are ready uh, where i have created again okay let's move here okay so i have four files all are ready now get add that so this is first project so and and it will be in the master in future if you want to modify anything we can create a future branch and then we can merge it let's go with master now let me get commit minus here first push okay keep push first time when you log into visual studio code it will ask that uh, uh, login username password so provide your e email id and then passwords then only it will integrate with our devops okay now it is integrated then let's go here just refresh this we have four files under my first project so one two three four all the files are ready once you are very okay and then all fine then just you can go here edit if you want and suppose index file you want to change want to ensure that is working on a lot simply you change welcome into thank you and then save it then it will be reflected but to integrate with smooth manner always do it the local way where you change the code here and then push it so then both side it will be properly managed uh, okay code is ready now let's create pipeline so how to create pipeline go to pipeline this is build pipeline this is ci method and then later cd is part of release so ci i am creating create pipeline and then the docker one we have seen with azure yaml method uh, this is kubernetes little tough to understand with yaml so for first time understanding and all it will be very easy with the classic editor let's go with the classic editor and then just click repository we are using azure repository we are not using anything else so my first project my first project code and then master branch i'm going to use and then what where i want to deploy is kubernetes so just type kubernetes and then apply so when you select kubernetes it will give automatically install helm helm in it helm package these three are where like docker hub you want to download the packages from helm where in, in our case i have created the code i have uh, modified so like it's a project internally prepared and we don't want to expose it to helm and then the repository also we are using azure uh, uh, container repository acr so nothing this is required so let's delete this and only one more package is required is uh, one more job is like uh, go plus search copy copy files so this is the four important part why we have chosen this for not uh, something else so far uh, i am doing docker image so i want to build that image uh, this is the one so first i have to build it so build the image and then push the image so build it and then push where i want to push it my repository where is my repository azure container repository in case if you have something else you can change it so that repository and then files copy files once the image is pushed the image you can take it uh, directly but what about these files yaml files so yaml files you need to take into azure pipelines so copy that file uh, files and then keep it in the azure file uh, azure pipeline and then drop them so this is the copy files and then publish that files artifact so these are the four important part uh, for kubernetes role play so let's do one by one 
um, build a Docker image, Azure Container Registry, and then Azure Subscription. So if you drop down, you will get it. How I got it is like you won't the uh, first time you won't get it. So if uh, if you go to manage, it will go to service connection. That is uh, my first project setting service connection. And that service connection, if, if this has to be created, free trial it will create. So if I edit it, this is the page you will get. So the subscription, everything you will get. Just drop down, you have to select your free trial. So select it and save it. So once that is done, pipeline. I think I didn't save that. Okay, let's create that. Copy files. Okay, this is the four. So just select my service connection. And then where is my registry? This is my container registry. Like Docker Hub, I have this. And this is my own repository. So here I have already few images. Now what image I am going to push it? As we discussed, um, we are going to push Dr. Kalam NGINX image we wanted to create. So let's follow that. Okay. Build an image. What we want to do, whether we have to just tag their name or push pull. All those things are there. Just we want to build the image, and then where I have to use which file I have to use Docker file only. So it's a default one, and then use build context, and then the last is build ID. We have to give so that is what uh, um, here. If you check it, here we are passing a yeah, Docker client genus build ID build ID. Um, this is like tag every time when you change something and then you build it. So like tag will become one, two, let us release. So two, 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 three, three, two, four, like that release will be changed. So that number we want to capture and then use that. So that's it. And then push the container image, Azure container registry. And then again here, select this in my own push on image. Repository. So here is the one uh, we need to put our image name, what we are expecting. So let's go here. I want the name should be like this. Okay. Uh, let's just push into this directly. And same we have to while building also we have to pass that name yeah image name here we have to queue so that's it and then where you want to copy that file so source folder okay Okay, this is not allowing to select that folder itself. Um, what we'll do, we'll create one folder. Just go here. Create one folder. Okay, DAR. Okay. 
Let's move here. Get hard. Keep commit minus cm folder ordered. Keep push. Okay, it is push. And let's go to here. Not allowing to share it. I think we have to come back again. Uh, we'll create one more. Okay, this folder is created under column folder. Then now we should list. Okay, where I have created copy files, yes. So here let's try now, yeah. After column folder and then content here, target. So here the copy files to the code push folder is Dr. Kalam folder and where we want to copy. So this is like Docker folder which is managed by uh, this predefined one like build artifact staging directory. So this is where the local code will be pushed. Directory and build are interchangeable. The variable is the scope and can be used as an environment variable in script as a parameter and build task but not part of build number as a version control. Build number or version control is again we have used this one build and build ID. So this is the staging directory where we want to place it. So just mention that where we want to place it. So that's it. Then drops where we want to drop. So this is like artifact is again. So once we put there, so that will become the bubbly path. And where we want uh, it is like the default name drop. Uh, you can give like a production model uh, like that but as it is one time that we can keep it as drop uh, just where we want to put that uh, copy into where we want to drop so that, that meaning uh, I tried to find out why the default name is drop uh, there they kept it as it is so that's it so we have created four jobs one uh, where is that name Build image container name again. I got changed. Oh, sorry. Oh, we get it here and there. Let's delete this. Um, what is the image name? Okay. Something need attention. What is that? 
build container image customer registry subscription details given content registry given build we are building it docker file is also there image name i want like this that's it rest it's not required push on container image now we are going to push where we want to push uh also container registry and then this one container my own push an image dr column Okay, copy files from local folder to staging folder, from staging folder to drop. That's it. Agent specification. So we want to use Azure Pipeline under Ubuntu as we are using Linux and JNX. Uh, that's it. Yeah, save. now save and queue. Save command can be anything. I will stop and let's leave it. Okay, agent job is created. Now let's see. Starting, initializing, checking out, building a container image. Pulling the nginx image completed on top of that we have to put our index file image is created dr column nginx yes so everything is success now let's go to my repository just refresh i could see dr column and jnx so so ca is success so once ca is success you feel everything is fine then go here click the pipeline trigger okay so once it is success let's go to trigger and this is currently disabled now enable it as a continuous integration and keep it as a master specification only for master you have to deploy in case if you want to deploy for some other future branch and want to test it the dev model that also possible so so once everything is fine the only master branch will be sending to production so as it is so you can enable the continuous integration that means anytime now whatever the changes happens this will be automated so that's a ci success now save it and give it I'll save is enough seems okay now let's go to release so ca is ready now cd so cd also again create new pipeline and then again we wanted to with kubernetes right staging one maybe you can call it as production model test bit like that so here we are going to have only one stage let's keep it safe and once this stage is success then you can create one more stage which can be final stage can be production so now an artifact again my first project right is the ca uh, always use latest and then add it so artifact is ready now we have to create this staging so what normally we have to do keep ctl so these files are like ready to deploy so it's called apply so you just apply using this file so go here display name service connection so this is the important part kubernetes service connection to interact as as it is there. consider that devops is one one tool and the kubernetes is some other server it is deployed so both has to have some approval security all those things matters so we need to have connection so we need to create service connection 
So how to create? Let's click new. And uh, there are three methods available. Normally Kubernetes, we have to use service account, which will be easy to do that. So let's follow this. What it needs is one URL and then secret. So this two is very important to connect with the um, Azure, uh, sorry, AKS cluster. Okay, so this is considered that you have created a Kubernetes cluster and it's running fine and just you want to deploy the application. So this is considered as a prerequisite. So kubectl get deploy. I think it's that. So what is suggested is we need to identify this output. Go here, paste it. So we got the URL. And then uh, let's go here. Another two command is there with this. So we, we need to have service account. So first of all, we need to create the service account and then secret. Once we create these two, then only we can add it. So let's create service account and secrets. So uh, create service account, we have to create service account and then that secret, we have to attach that service account. Um, But there we have to validate and then finally that they are going to generate for Azure DevOps service account. So let's do one by one. Okay, these are the service account already available. So we have created this and then describe, we can describe also for more details. So it is part of namespace default and then no nothing is defined token, no nothing is there. So we will be generating tokens now. So, and then we have to create This secret file. So my vi my secret dot yaml. Now let's deploy. It has created. Now let's check. Okay service accounts Let me just describe everything. Let's check what are we created. Okay, this is the token is assigned. Now we have um, tokens and then finally these two commands uh, which burn it, sorry, in case we need to fill it. My 
my service account is this and then my secret name is my secret name only so let's generate Yeah, using like a secret name. Okay. So it has generated copy here. Just after generating with these two command, paste it here. So we have generated URL and then we have generated the token. And then service connection name. So whatever the name we have used now. This is my own name. Uh, just go and place it here. In description, you want to give anything. Grant access to all people. Okay. Now we got it. So we created that and then we got the service connection and where the name space you want to. If you didn't mention it, it will be deployed in default space. And if you mention it, it will be namespace. So I think our repository code is welcome. So namespace, we will mention it as welcome. And then command a thing. So here we'll use our configuration file. Uh, what is the deployment file? These two files, YAML, these two YAML files, right? So let's just select this folder and it will pick that YAML file. And then secrets nothing record. That's it. Where is that command? Yeah, this is the one we are going to do apply. So let's apply. So it become kubeset apply. Now one more thing which we need is like a, a replace. Uh, yeah, this one you have to select. Normally you won't get it here. Add you have to purchase it. It's not like that. Uh, from the market uh, place you have to take. Then he why we are using this is because in build pipeline we mentioned the ID is like uh what do you call uh, the build id so that is dynamic right every time this will be changed so we have to change accordingly to so root directory what is the file this is the file uh, in this file only we have mentioned build id so just change it here not in all file you know it in check only this file you go and check it and what i have to do is when there is within dollar something build and build id just replace it with the current uh one thing so we have done replace and then finally this is ready to deploy so this is now ready the release pipeline can't be showed because staging one reference and service connection that can't be found or that you do not have permission to access verify that compliant group is playing user role in service connection people is using service connection We have created that using that test. Configuration file folder is this folder. Advanced version only. Secrets, we have mentioned it. Looks like service connection is wrong.
think we didn't replace this. Service connection with the name I already exist only user having admin user with permission on service connection can see it. Okay, let's go and delete that and recreate. Service connection. Delete. Let's see what is configured. Okay, yeah, we have used uh, that only. Let's replace it and then try. Uh, it's not allowing. Okay, let's replace this also. Where is that? Okay, we have modified it. Let's go here. Release pipeline. Uh, let's place that now. And then change it, save it. Yes, now it is working. Yeah. So yeah, we have to be very careful. Uh, and copy paste uh, and then let's create the release so we have created apply and then we have created a replace token and then let's try it before that uh, this build artifact is covered okay why that single star why two star all the following inside specific server source folder and the double star is like inside even subfolder so that is another three and then uh, yeah the artifact name can be production they currently we have mentioned it as drop normally so we can check that also service account permission okay the a service account which we created is uh, least secure why because um, there are four methods available one you can create the service account and give role binding only view and then you can give only to particular namespace. I think this is also same. And then grant role to default service account in a namespace. And then grant role to all service account in a namespace. Uh, create role binding service account cluster view. And then system service account to the space. The fourth one is group. Give everything to that group. Uh, service account view, cluster view, group admin. So this is the fourth one. If you give this, then every time you don't need to create separate separate for learning purpose. The fourth one is better. Uh, this is also view method only. The fifth one is very, very better for learning purpose as we are giving cluster admin permission. So this one is already created uh, because when you create this is very important else it won't allow you to deploy it. Uh, because you don't have the permission. So what you have to do is create cluster role binding and then service account uh, Just create a give one uh, some account name SCI cluster admin you are giving admin access to the service account and what kind of role you are giving admin role and whom group so whatever the service account if you, uh, you have uh, uh, like uh, place it like uh, CTL get service accounts. So all this account has access as admin access, but you can restrict it whatever the role. See, already these are the role available, and what we did is like take the cluster role admin and give access to the uh, admin binding service role binding uh, let's see
cluster admin service account cluster admin this one and then cluster admin already you have you can attach that uh, likewise a case also so currently that i has given as admin role but if you want you can try with these five steps uh, you can create one more like just for view purpose uh, like that also but we want to create uh, so we have given full access but there is also uh, deploy access get list watch create update so kind of different different access you can explore it but not part of this session so yeah let's just for deployment uh, good uh, to perform CACD with the smooth manner just I give an admin permission so that's it so now let's create release release one has been created and let's see the log So I think let's check it here. kubectl get deploy deploy namespace under welcome. We have deployed resource type deploy. Okay, it is installed. So we could see Dr. Kalam INJNX image. So let's see with more details and then service details. Okay, it has created two parts, both are running condition. Uh, yeah, if that cluster role, uh, why I given admin access is that suppose if you play with some other access somehow it is not allowing to install it you have this permission missing that permission missing so first time you go with the cluster admin um, and then it will be deployed or else you will get image fail pull failure also if you miss the build id that also it uh, describe let's i will explain it in that matter kubectl Describe copy paste resource name is pod. Uh, there is no need to specify resource in separate argument with passing arguments. Uh, resource in capital kit resource. It is so describe that's correct only now. Not found. Why not found? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to mention that. Uh, what you called namespace because it is separate only it will take a default one so successfully got that dr kalam nginx and then 31 tag name is 31 uh, so if we didn't mention that it will fail again so here we mentioned it as build dot build id and that got replaced with uh, with with replace token so in replace token we are changing that one token got replaced so so these digital and all you can validate so so clearly we got it's uh, running successfully and then even service also running and then whatever the ip we have mentioned is also service also deployed successfully let's take this now this is the page which i have shown it from our local laptop now let's check that 
from internet that should come yes so welcome to also CACD v deployment in kubernetes cluster so this is all fine oh, one time it's manually done now hereafter everything should go as a automated manner how to do so for ci we did uh, for ci where is that for ci edit under trigger so we made enable continuous integrator now continuous deployment also has to be enabled so where to do that go to release and then click this edit can change the new release in my column release like that release save it and then here is the continuous deployment trigger so click this enable it and this should be only for master don't deploy in anything else so here that is done uh, let's save it okay and then if you want somebody's approval you can go and put pre-deployment approval let's not do it now approval approval and all let's do small changes and see all getting done without touching anything okay. okay let it go with the manual method now so let me go here unless i final rth sorry next method doctor column now what I will do, I will go to this index page. Uh, welcome. I will change this. Thanks for watching. Watching this session. Watching associated way deployment in Kubernetes. Okay, this is just with a small modified so consider that the your project you did a lot of things and then you wanted to push into production so now you can just do git add git commit okay and then git push okay done now just we'll watch it what is happening go to repository thanks committees already came and then go to pipeline it has detected thanks commit under master branch so this also continuous integration triggered it is rotating let's see the status agent job it is doing pulling building so everything is success clear now let's go to release pipeline and this also triggered let's see continuous deployment earlier it was manual now it is continuous deployment started and it is queued let's go and see the logs Okay, so this is also success and then finally let's check it here okay so deployment got changed you can see that last so this is also successful 10 second ago 
eight seconds like that only now let's check the website so our website is should be modified thanks for watching yes so these are all fine so this is how very important part in uh, continuous CACD is like for here we have to choose um, uh, where is the edit build container and push that container and then copy that container put into artifact staging so why we are using artifact staging we, there, is, <coughs> there is explanation uh, so for azure pipeline we need to put into artifacts for that we are using copy and then after that we have to drop it to some location so this is a azure pipeline location we are dropping it so that means image is ready so ca is completed with this method for this only we needed azure subscription and then container registry even docker hub you can use so likewise your own container registry you have pulled and next release release has only two things uh, two job uh, in the artifacts we are selecting that pipeline build whatever we did in the staging we have two tasks one is replace the token why we are replacing because under this dollar uh, within bracket uh, build id is there so replace that build id with the latest uh, tag and that replace is done and then kubeset will apply so what which is doing is service connection to connect to kubernetes cluster you need a service connection hence we have added this with uh, by creating a service account and then secret to that service account and then uh, using uh, whatever that uh, azure is telling that command which we have to fill it and then we'll get that final token that token you have to place it as well as you have to change the this one you are we didn't change this because of that there was error so you have to change this and then final out of this once you put these two you will get the token sorry you will get the service account so by that way we created the service connection and then namespace we have deployed in the welcome in case uh, if that uh, welcome namespace is another you can use deploy default or accordingly like production uh, production test like that you can create a namespace and separately you can play then configuration file under drop because i didn't select the file because i have two yaml file so i selected the folder and then secret again nothing so nothing i just touched you can even you can use uh, secrets but in that case in our yaml file only secret is configured uh, you can see here how to pull go to this my repository and pull this image using this secret so this is like normal azure kubernetes uh, uh, deployment uh, the way manually how, how you done and in cacd manner the same you can follow it and then finally uh, they just save it and then create release so release uh, where to trigger that continuous deployment uh, again Okay, last one more we'll change check it like approval way so now everything is ready suppose without approval i don't want to proceed so just put one approval and then time out all these things is fine just enable it and then save it so approval is enabled now let's do small changes from repository stay where i have to save save yeah now go to repository the docker column index just i want to change ordered approval where i will add somewhere i will add uh, instead of service i will put added approval just edit it here i'm not going to visual studio just i'm changing it here that option also available just for knowledge purpose always as a better way you go and do it in the visual studio um added approval is cd approval cd pipeline approval okay commit 
ordered approval in git repo directly just commit it okay this has created create pull request and then let's check pipeline detected Completed successful CA is success. Let's go to release. It to detect. Yeah, detected. Created blue color, green color. So this is continuous. Now see. Earlier it went directly. Now it is waiting. It won't proceed to the next level. So I have to give approval here. The same way, even in pipeline, also we can do. Uh, suppose we want to merge with future branch to main branch okay let's do approval we want to reject or approve whatever with commands you can play like this okay then it is queued and then it will be deployed okay this also succeeded now let's go to this is local this is website one ordered cd pipeline approval so this is also success now if you are interested we stay for one or two more minutes let's do play with feature branch okay okay go to um, go to visual studio okay wd we are in main project now let's do it uh, pull because we did some changes there so we have to sync with that or else it will be throwing error so git pull okay some docker in index folder got changed so now it is fine now let us edit um Container registry added CD pipeline release really now. I will remove this. I will put let's try with feature branch. Okay, okay, so okay, check out. I want to create a branch called feature. Um, three test. Okay. Uh, whatever the feature you are sending, finally you are created one new feature you are launching. Something like feature one. Uh, like whatever you like. Uh, let's put um see feature. Okay. So I have checked out and then get status. So one file got edited. Just git add. Then git commit minus m validate feature branch. Okay, then git uh push so here this uh, git push is not simple command we have a little bit changes uh so it will tell automatically just you copy paste this for future branch from origin feature series feature like that this automatic command will come copy paste it So now let's see. Go back repository. Added approval in Git repository directly. 
is still there but there is a future branch just now it cut so where that will be there branch under branch future branch three feature is created now pushes that is also there commits that's also there how to do this so this has to be considered as a new pull request to merge with master so let's create new pull request source branch future branch to master well did future branch i have ordered something something you please review and then approve so i will ask somebody to review it and then approve it but now let's create it so nothing merge conflict everything is fine and then approval also not required but if you give approve your side the final thing and then can create and then complete so here complete apart and everything is there so just complete it what do you want to do merge even delete that feature branch delete it and merge it with the master only that you can ignore also you can add it also so better you just merge it or else lot of feature branch will be there and then it will be confusing one uh, okay added it merging pull request now this goes and sits with master and this called merged pr3 validated feature branch so completed now let's see pipeline yes it is triggered continuous integration is triggered same way continuous deployment also will be taken care so overall what we are doing is just code change and push it somebody to approve and then you are seeing the web page new new web pages so this is very very easy process that is reason cacd become very popular the same way jenkins also some methods available okay let's see now it is completed release also started that is in, i think we need to go and approve yeah because we have given yeah let's approve Not should be started. Deployment not yet started. It's queued. Yeah. Only first time uh, the CACD will have error here and there. Once we corrected and then this will be a smooth process no need to touch the configuration just play with your codes and that will be launched successfully in the website whatever the purpose okay it is succeeded let's see now this part has to be changed as a future branch something we added yes let's try with the future branch so hopefully the cacd is very helpful uh, here and there some errors captured and maybe when you try there will be some more error will be coming definitely google will help you even you can paste it here uh, we will try to sort it out thank you hope it is useful